Number five, the absolute value of this two in plus one needs to stay smaller than 11. Needs to be within 11 feet of our target. So everything needs to stay within 11, be less than 11. The way we're going to do this, again, absolute value, you have a positive piece and a negative piece. And they both need to be less than 11. So I'm going to have the positive piece less than the 11. I'm going to have the negative part of that less than or equal to 11. Now, in between, I either need the word or or the word and. In this case, this symbol is a less than in that we play off of that to know this is going to be an and situation. That tells me, and I sort of knew it from the beginning, it tells me if this is sort of our spot, we're going to have our solutions between two pieces, and it does say or equal to right there, so that it is going to equal it. It's going to be between two parts, okay? And I sort of knew that already because it was smaller than 11, so it needed to stay, if this was my target, 11 on that side and 11 on that side. Don't worry about that, but if this does make sense to you, you'll understand what I'm talking about there. But the key is you have a less than or equal, so we know we're going to use an and statement. And we'll see that we get this when we get down a little further. So we need to solve these two things. Well, the left is equal. Let's subtract one, subtract one. Less than or equal to 10. Divide by two on both sides. And you get n has got to stay smaller than five. Okay, it's got to be less than or equal to five. Over here, you could distribute the negative through and solve it. That's perfectly fine. Or what I do is I always just divide by negative one to start. It gives me that 2n plus 1. The inequality will always flip and I always have a negative here. So it will always end up being the, what's inside the absolute value. And it will change, in this case, to a greater than or equal to a negative 11. The sign will always flip and you always have a negative there. Now i got to solve it. So I just subtract 1, subtract 1. 2n greater than or equal to negative 12. Divide by 2, divide by 2. n has got to be bigger than or equal to negative six. So we need an n smaller than five and it's got to be bigger than negative six. On a number line, here's negative six, here's five. Our values have to be greater than negative six, but yet less than or equal to the five. So it's all these in here, just like I said it was going to be up here. So the way we write this, one of two ways, we can say, hey, negative six, Less than or equal to the n, less than or equal to the 5, that's perfectly fine one way. Or we could just say, hey, starts at negative 6, goes to 5, includes them if we want to use interval notation. More than likely, we're going to do it the first way right here. Either way is perfectly fine for the solution you put on your paper, though.